Hi YouTube and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create an intro for your own videos for your projects. So if you look on my channel you'll probably have seen that I've already made a video similar to this for a previous version of Video Studio Pro X4. But I've now decided that I'm going to do it for X5 because a few things have changed and also I'd like to go a bit more in depth and I also want to make this video um, better for people who have never actually used the software before and also for people who have used the software so if you have used the software before then when I'm going through some of the more basic things then I do apologize you can skip forwards if you want to um, but I will be touching on some fairly basic things for people who have not used the software before so basically for an intro video it's going to be something you, that you'd have at the beginning of your videos on your projects so they'll probably only be about five seconds maybe up to ten seconds long but it can really give your projects a professional feel and if you're doing it for YouTube or anything then it can make it really really look good for your videos so you might even get more subscribers from it because it just looks more professional overall so if you first of all click on these three tabs here you'll see that it has opened up some default pictures it's also opened up some default videos and it's also opened up default music and sound clips so I'm just going to be making my video from these today but if you're going to do this really professionally um, then I would suggest that you actually made your own uh, to suit your style of your videos more but like I say for the purpose of this tutorial I'm just going to be using these default clips so basically these three little buttons here are to hide and show the three different file types so there is the music files, also the sound files, uh, there are the photo files and there are the video files. So just to make it easier when using the software basically, if you only want the video ones to show then you would get rid of the other two and only your video clips will be here now. Likewise if you did it for the photos, only your photos will be here. So it can make it a lot easier to use. So obviously if you want to find out more about this software then you can go and look at my other videos as this tutorial is mainly just for getting into how to make an introduction for your videos. So first off I think we really need a video clip to start for the background of the intro. So I'm just going to choose one at random here and I'm just going to go for V12 and you can now see that I've inserted that into the timeline and this is going to be the basics of the introduction. Now you'll see it's around 5 seconds long, it's actually 5.5 seconds long, you can shorten it if you wish. To do that you just left click on the right of it here and then you drag and then let go and you'll see it's now shortened it. So it is now only approximately 4 seconds long. But I'm going to keep it at maximum length so I'll just keep it around that area of 5 seconds long. So this looks quite smart but it doesn't really tell you anything about yourself. You need to get your name on there or your channel name or whatever you're doing your video about so to do that you need to first of all click on this title button here and this will allow you to insert titles onto your project so you can use these default ones here and then you can edit them and choose whatever you want it to say or you can click on options and you can edit it all here but I'm just going to make my own custom one so I'm just going to go to the timeline right at the beginning and you'll see on the screen here it says double click to add a title so you just double click on there and then I'm going to insert what I want it to say so it's Dave Top's Tips just put a capital in there so my intro is going to be about Dave's Top Tips So you'll see that it has now inserted it onto the timeline down here. But when you play it, you'll see that it disappears halfway through. Which obviously we don't want. Now this is because when I inserted it, it just did the default length, which looks like it's around two, two seconds, yeah, two and a half seconds. So you just click on it and then left click and then drag it to the same length as your video, which is at the top here and now when we play it through you'll see that it stays the whole way through now it looks fairly good but there's no action in it we want it to look more exciting than that 
so you can add an animation so what you need to do is first of all click on the title left click on there and go over to here which is attribute then click on animation and then apply now you'll see on this drop down menu there are a load of different types of animation you can apply to your title so for a start I'm just going to click on a drop one and then you'll see that all four have appeared here now there will be more for some for example the fade one looks like there is around 11ish there which is fairly good and there's a load more for all the other ones so you can just play around and see what you can find out about them and there are some really good ones in there uh, so we're just going to choose this one for now and then that is now inserted onto the title so you can see it's a bit better now it's got a bit of movement in it which makes it more exciting instantly but it's still not right there so I'm going to go ahead and go further into editing this title so now I'm going to click on edit and then you can see there are a load of things here which you can change so there's the font type, there's the size you can have a backdrop and you can change the angles and there's loads of stuff you can do, you can make it bold italic or you can do underline so I'm just going to change for a start the font type so I'm just going to make it sonic so now that, that already adds action to the title I'm then going to go and add a border shadow or transparency so I'm going to add a shadow to mine I'm going to go ahead with this drop shadow and then you'll see that it is automatically added a shadow to it however I do not want it so far out and I also do not want it so blurred so you can change the softness with this number here so obviously the lower the number the harder it will be so you can now see it's got a lot harder and I'm also going to change this back transparency to zero I'm just going to then click OK and then play that through so you can see that's still fairly slow so what I'm going to do is go back onto the animation and I'm going to choose a different one something that will fit a bit better with this so I've now chosen the flying motion I'm going to customize this animation attribute by clicking this here and I'm going to choose where it enters from where it exits what the starting unit is what the ending unit is and if it pauses and I am going to set it to pause I'm going to have a long pause I'm fine with having the text as the starting unit and also the text for the end unit it's going to enter from the bottom but I also want it to leave at the bottom as well so if I put this down arrow ticked here and then click OK you'll now see that when we run through it that it will enter from the bottom and it will leave at the bottom as well so you can now see it's coming together quite nicely so obviously I'm not spending much time on this because I can't really because I'm recording it obviously for YouTube and you'll be sat there for hours watching this video so I'm really just rushing into it um, but if you spend loads of time onto it and put loads of hard work into it you can really make a professional looking introduction now I'm not saying that this one doesn't look professional but I can tell you you can do a lot better than me because I'm just rushing this so it's now time to add music to the introduction so like I said earlier you can hide the videos and as an audio file and then I'm going to go ahead and choose one of these I'm going to go with M15 and then drag that down onto the music file here on the timeline and then I'm going to play that through the audio has really made it better but you can see that the audio clip is over a minute long but the introduction is only five seconds long so what we're going to do is we're going to left click on that like I showed you earlier and then drag it to make it the same size zoom back in again and then we're going to go on to the sound mixer now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it fade out at the end so I'm going to go on attribute and then click on fade out and then you can see here is the fade now 
I don't want it to just suddenly stop, so I'm going to make the fade a slightly longer. So you can now see that the fade is a lot longer than it was. So when we play this through again, you can see this time it does not just stop halfway through and it's got a nice fade onto it and then that will blend quite nicely into the beginning of your video. So now we've added text, we've added video and we've also added sound and they are the three really main components of an introduction video. So I hope this has given you the foundations of what would go into an introduction video. Obviously you would put a lot more effort into it than this but this is just showing you the basics of what you can do and just really showing you what you can actually do on this software and there is a potential for something extremely good. So I hope I've helped you with this video and thanks for watching as usual.